Does donating to charity make you a better person? It might. But what if you only donated to one small organization that had narrowing views and narrow goals and only had small accomplishments, but you liked their accomplishments so you kept donating? Some people may disagree and argue with you and say that the organization you donated to is awful, and some people may stand with you. A lot of us want to help out, and it is in our human DNA to help others in need. But a lot of us get stuck choosing where to donate because there are just so many options. It's like putting your money into the stock market. Well, luckily for us, there is an S&P 500, and luckily for the world, there is Oxfam. An S&P 500 is a partial share of the top 500 growing companies and some smaller but still growing companies. I believe that Oxfam is an S&P 500 of charitable organizations. So does that mean that Oxfam branches out and not only focuses on major changes but also minor ones too? The simple answer is yes, but there's just so much more that I need to tell you about. Oxfam has a deep understanding and knowing that poverty is the difference maker in what makes a community safe and secure. Oxfam knows this, and so they are trained to help specialize aiding death, education, healthcare, and they're even there during national disasters. In 2015, Nepal experienced a devastating earthquake, and Oxfam was there to provide shelter, food, and healthcare, and you can read all about it right on their website. Oxfam wanted to be different than any other organization and they wanted to do more. Poverty can be caused by a government or an economy being weak or corrupt. And Oxfam knows this better than anyone else. So they also focus on justice for trade, democracy, and most importantly, human rights. In 2000, they adopted the rights-based approach developing method which according to the United Nations Sustainable Development Group, or UNSDG, on their website, they describe the rights-based development approach being a method where you worry more about the people living in the development areas rather than the projects. When neighborhoods start to develop, prices start to rise, and other neighborhoods that are not part of the developing neighborhood even start to rise. In some cases, people living in poverty go through high property tax raises, and they're unable to pay their taxes and or bills. Oxfam understands that this is a problem, and so they tend to worry about the developing areas before commercial development and property development. They provide more education, more clinics, more jobs, and more security to those neighborhoods before projects start to happen. You do not have to be a millionaire to donate to Oxfam. Oxfam is a company that is huge and they have a lot of tricks up their sleeves and they're continuing to grow. Oxfam accepts all size don Oxfam accepts all size donations and you can donate right on their website today. It makes sense to donate because it makes sense to help people. So why not help someone that is not only helping a lot of other people, but are also helping them in so many different ways. Not only are you helping people get out of poverty, but you're also helping people in undeveloped countries get their voices heard, which could be the start of an economic renaissance. Thank you so much. Uh, I now open the floor for questions. He just asked in my picture, uh, they were wearing masks, but I said 2015. So I know it looks like uh, it looks like the COVID era, but they were just wearing masks because there's so much dust and uh, diseases going around. As you uh, on the picture, you could have seen um, that the people handing out the uh, medical supplies, they were not wearing masks, which I, in today's age, they would be. Um, she just asked, what about, uh, does Oxfam help uh, with other organizations? Uh, the answer is yes. Oxfam has been known to team up with Red Cross across uh, the entire planet, um, assisting them and doing pretty much whatever they ask. 
Uh, that now concludes my questions. If you have any more, please see me after class. Thank you.